All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're gonna be taking a look at the types of content that you need at the bottom of the funnel in order to convert people into high ticket buyers, multi buyers, cross sell, upsell, do all those wonderful things that we're trying to do with our marketing. So let's take a quick look at the, uh, the goals again at the bottom of the funnel. We're looking to nurture customers. We're looking to grow retargeting lists. But the big things we're looking to do is we're looking to maximize immediate customer value, right? We wanna make higher dollar purchases, we wanna make multiple purchases, so we wanna increase frequency of purchases. We wanna do all these things at the bottom of the funnel. And in order to do that, we need to change up the types of content that we use. We're not gonna use infographics to try to sell at the bottom of the funnel. We're not gonna to try to use an audio podcast at the, at the bottom of the funnel. Those are better at driving awareness and we're not gonna use lead magnets that we used in the middle of the funnel. Those are for driving leads, right? Like, you know, download this lead magnet, download this uh, useful resource, you know, download my software. No, what we're looking to do in the, in the bottom of the funnel is we're looking to convert uh, higher ticket uh, customers. All right, so let's take a look at content types at the bottom of the funnel. We've got demos and free trials customer stories, comparisons and spec sheets, webinars and events, and mini classes. All right, so these are all types of content that as a content marketer, if you're hearing your, your client, your boss, uh, or you as a, as a business owner are trying to figure out how do I sell higher ticket items? How do I create multi-buyers? Um, how do I cross sell and upsell? It's going to be these kind of content types that as a content marketer, you're gonna to wanna to create. So let's jump in and take a look. So we've got demos and free trials. So on the right side over here, you've got Whirlpool, just showing you how the product works, okay? So you've already gone through the awareness stage. Oh geez, do I need a new uh, dishwasher or not, right? Yeah, of course you do. Your dishwasher's leaking all over the kitchen floor, the tank's broken or whatever. And so you know you have a problem. Now you become aware that um, you've got your problem. Then you go into the evaluation stage. Okay, should I buy a Whirlpool? Should I buy some other competitor? Should I just forget about it? Start washing dishes by hand, right? And not take any action at all on my problem. But once you go into the evaluation stage, you are ready to start deciding, are you going to buy? You are at that sort of uh, first moment of truth where you're about ready to press the buy button on something. You want to see things like demos, all right? You want to see how something actually works. It's one of the last stages of content marketing is to actually go and attend a demonstration of the product. And so you can see Whirlpool here just, you know, let's, you want to see how, you know, something, you want to see the most boring thing in the world? Watch this demonstration of this, uh, this dishwasher, you know, opening and closing and how it runs and how clean everything is when it comes out. But to somebody that's about ready to, to spend $500 on a dishwasher, they're going to watch this demonstration and they're going to want to see how the product looks and feels as much as they can from the seat of, uh, you know, from a, from a seat, uh, at their house, right? Before they go into the showroom. So, Demos are really powerful, and these can be used in a lot more businesses than you think, right? So think about how you could demonstrate your product online, especially whether it's through a webinar or through online video or through some kind of schematic drawing um, or uh, through a set of screenshots, however you've got to get it done. Figure out how you can demo that product at the bottom of the funnel. Now, free trials the same thing, right? where this is a, this is a uh, how do I get somebody to take that last step? Um, you might need to push a free trial down into the bottom of the funnel because it's something where somebody's gonna say, well, I really literally wanna experience this firsthand. I, wanna f I want full access to this with no skin in the game before I'm gonna actually buy. And so you might need to try a free trial in the bottom of the funnel. Customer stories are absolutely fantastic at the bottom of the funnel. You're looking to create, remember we, we created that avatar earlier on in this certification, 
And what, you know, this salesforce.com is a fantastic example of how to use customer stores and you can find them on, the, on their website. They've got dozens and dozens and dozens of customer uh, stories and they're all based on different avatars that Salesforce is trying to reach. In this case, you've got, you know, Salesforce is helping us become a customer centric company. This is somebody from Philips. All right, so it's Jerry and Tass, Chief uh, CEO of uh, Informatics Solutions and Service of Philips Healthcare, right? Do you wanna learn how? View the story, click here and go view the story of how salesforce.com is helping Philips become a better business, all right? At the bottom of the funnel, remember this person is done becoming aware, they are aware. They are finished with the evaluation stage. They are no longer really kicking tires. Now they're really looking at Salesforce, like should I buy Salesforce? They are looking at, you need that extra piece of content, whether it's, as we've talked about, a demo, free trial, a, cus a customer story like this can do wonders at the bottom of the funnel. Now another piece of content that might be relevant to your business is a comparison or a spec sheet. All right, so when somebody's at the bottom of the funnel and they're deciding, should I buy this? Should I buy that? I'm done, you know, I'm, I'm done screwing around, I'm about ready to purchase something. They're gonna be looking for things like spec sheets. How do I, how do I decide like, should I use this service or that? So um, here on the left, you see an example of a business that's like, how do we compare to the competition? Well, take a look. We've got uh, US legal wills, all right? Or um, we've got lawyer, we've got do-it-yourself kit, we've got legal zoom. All these people do that are competitors of this company. Well, you can see that, of course, they check off all the boxes, whereas these other ones have some red X's that indicate that they don't offer that, that service. That's a comparison that someone might wanna look at right before they buy. Again, on the right side, you've got you know, a spec sheet for a Viking rear downdraft, right? They might wanna see the actual spec sheet of what they buy, and this is especially prevalent in the B2B market. All right, so what about webinars and events? We used webinars and events in the middle of the funnel too to gather leads, but you can also use them in the bottom of the funnel to convert those leads. So you were, you're gonna wanna change up the type of webinar that you're doing at the bottom of the funnel. It becomes less about being an educational resource and more about being a hybrid educational resource plus a pitch, all right? So you're gonna actually literally pitch a product on your webinar. So here on the left, you've got, you know, dis discover how the rich can get richer, all right? So this is a, a real estate offer here at a live event, all right? Uh, so live events, is sa same thing, you know, webinars and live events, getting people to arrive at some place and then providing them with education, but also making offers, high dollar offers can work really well at live events and webinars. So if you take a look on the right here, you've got, um, a webinar from, from Learning Ally on uh, dyslexia, and they are going to make a pitch for their product as well and get people to, to buy their higher dollar products. Webinars and events are good places to make higher dollar offers when you can get you know, people at your event. Now, last one we're gonna talk about from a content type perspective is mini classes. All right, so a mini class is just, a, it's, a, it's a type of event that you can set up and teach somebody about a particular topic and then again, make your pitch for your larger high dollar product, all right? So in this case, Digital Marketer did a free three-part mini class. We call it the 3X method. Seven conversion hacks, triple any business in six months or less, all right? So you watch this video and then you're gonna want to access video one. In order to do that, you're gonna to need to give us your contact information and enter into a mini class where we're gonna teach you and educate you about a particular solution to a problem. This can be a lot of educational resources involved in it, but in the end, it's really set up to pitch a higher dollar product. So this is another content type that can be used at the bottom of the funnel. All right, now in the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at the metrics that we use to measure at the bottom of the funnel. We'll see you there.